Hi everyone, I hope you're good. This is Sharig and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. This is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson and as always when I say Lebanese, it means it's the Levantine dialect which is spoken in Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine and Syria. I'm gonna try to upload one lesson every day so I can do a 30-day challenge with you guys on YouTube because I run 30-day challenge courses with my students on Zoom so I can take some of the information that I do in class with them and I can share them with you. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'm recording 30-day challenge courses, Lebanese Arabic challenge courses, all the way from absolute beginners to advanced. These are still self-study courses, so if you don't have the flexibility to study with me on Zoom every single day at a specific period of time, you can do them on your own and this way you don't miss out on the challenge. So, yalla, let's begin. I'm going to teach you one verb today that has many meanings and the verb has the roots dal, qaf, قاف. But in the past, we pronounce it, for example, Anna, Anna, the eight. We put the two coughs together in a shadda. Anna, the eight. Who we, he, who we, da. Anna, the eight. Who we, da. That's in the past. In the present, it's Anna, bde, Anna, bde. And who we, bide, who we, bide. Let me repeat. So, Anna, the eight. Who we, da. That's in the past. Ana bde, hu we bide. That's in the present. What does this verb mean? The first meaning is to touch. To touch. Okay. For example, hu we da fiye. Literally, I say he touched in me, which means he touched me. Hu we da fiye. If I want to say I didn't touch him, ana mada eight fi. Ana. Mada eight fi. I didn't touch him. This also has a like a, has a, another implied meaning. It means like I didn't lay a hand on him. Maybe you say in English like maybe I didn't hit him. Mada eight fi, you know. So, but it literally means to touch. So, who da fi? He touched me. Ana da eight fi. I touched him. The second meaning is to knock. For example, ana da eight albe. Ana da eight. Albeb, I knocked on the door. Ana da eight albeb, or who da albeb? He knocked the door. Who da albeb? It can we can also use it in the in the other way around, and we can say if the door knocked. For example, I'm sitting here and I hear somebody knocking on the door. Uh, instead of saying somebody's knocking on the door, I say da albeb. The door knocked. Da albeb. So if it's me knocking on the door, I say another eight albeb on the door. But if it's me hearing the door knock, I say the elbeb, the door knocked, the elbeb. The third meaning is to ring because you know it's the same. You knock on the door or you ring the bell. So uh, if I hear the bell ring, I say the jaras, the el jaras with a liaison and pronouncing it the jaras or maybe at school when we were kids and the 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 bell used to ring we used to say the jaras the jaras the doorbell or the bell rang now if i ring a bell i say ana the eight a jaras it's the abbreviation of ala ana the eight ala jaras but I can also say Anna the eight ajaras. I rang the bell. Oh, or who is the ajaras? So that's the third meaning to ring. So the first one is to touch, the second one to knock, the third one to ring, and um, the fourth one is when you play an instrument. For example, Anna the piano. I, I'm not saying I touch the piano, but I mean to say I play the piano. Of course, you can say Anna bilab. Piano, bilab, because it literally means to play. But you can also say ana bde piano, ana bde guitar, or who we bde guitar, or who we bde piano. The fifth meaning is to pound. Usually, when it's for example food or garlic, for example, I can say ana the eight. I don't mean to say I touched the garlic. It's like I pounded the garlic. Ana the eight it tum. So in that case, it means to pound. So here are five meanings of the same verb. Ana the eight fi, I touched him. Ana the eight ajaras, I rang the bell. And ana the eight albeb, I knocked on the door, which means I knocked the door. You can also say the ajaras, the bell rang, or the albeb, the door knocked. You can say 
أنا بدي بيانو I play the piano or هو بدي guitar he plays the guitar and you can use it to, to mean to smash or to pound something for example أنا دي ate it too I pounded the garlic I think that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow for another short lesson bye now